Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sangeeta. Welcome to Health Talks by Medicover Woman and Child, Hyderabad. Today, I am happy to introduce one of our senior consultant, obstetrician and gynecologist, Dr. Minakshi. She has over 15 years of experience. Hello ma'am, welcome to the Health Talk. Hello. So, cervical cancer is the second most common type of cancer in India. According to NCBA statistics, every year in India, more than 1,20,000 people are getting diagnosed with cervical cancer and unfortunately, the mortality is extremely high. It is about 50%. So, ma'am, why the incidence of cervical cancer is more in India compared to other countries? Um, Cervical cancer is one of the preventable female uh, cancers that is there at present. The reason uh, why it has a lesser incidence in the developed nation is because they have a universal screening program which is on its way to development in India considering that the infrastructure manpower is lacking in India. So having a proper screening program in developed nations has definitely shown a drastic reduction in cervical cancer rates, incidence and prevalence. What are the common causes of cervical carcinoma? Uh, the causative factor of cervical cancer is the human papilloma virus. There are many strains but the projected ones are the oncogenic strains. There are other reasons also wherein the chances of developing cancer are higher in women who have multiple sexual partners who are immunosuppressed where there is a um, history of immunosuppression. Ma, what are the most common signs and symptoms a woman should keep a check on? Uh, for cervical cancer, the general presentation is abnormal vaginal bleeding, especially postcoital bleeding or even postmenopausal bleeding in a lady who has attained menopause, foul smelling vaginal discharge. Uh, these would be the areas where please do not neglect, definitely come and consult your gynecologist and get checked. Okay ma'am, if someone gets diagnosed with cervical cancer, what are the available treatment options? Okay, uh, when we are talking about cervical cancer, the disease normally progresses from a precancerous stage to a cancerous stage. So uh, in the precancerous stage, the disease is very very localized just to the cervix and even in early cancer, the disease is localized to the cervix. So precancerous lesions are just like maybe getting a cryotherapy done or a lead procedure done or a small cone taken from the cervix will help you get rid of the precancerous lesions. But once cancer is diagnosed, it is further staged. Uh, it is a clinical staging, so it stages as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Beyond stage 2B, the treatment is only chemo radiation where we don't have an option of doing surgery. Whereas in the early stages, like very early stages where it's only a micro-invasive cancer, only a part of the cervix can be removed and the lady can still be cured. And in early stages, uh, hysterectomy, radical hysterectomies are generally advised. Ma'am, so far we were discussing about causes, signs and symptoms, available treatment options. Is there a way to prevent cervical cancer? Definitely, as I said uh, earlier, this is the only preventable female cancer and this has to be utilized by the public. We know that human papilloma virus is the causative agent of cervical cancer. So at present, we have a vaccine available uh, which can either be a quadrivalent vaccine where it has got against four strains of the human papilloma virus a bivalent vaccine which is against two strains of the cervical cancer causing uh, strains of HPV or recently even a non-avalent against nine strains a vaccine is going to be coming up in India soon. So we definitely have a preventable um, you know, way to prevent a cervical cancer which should be utilized by the public. Ma'am, what is the best time to get vaccinated and how frequently one should take this vaccine? Uh, the ideal time of vaccination is before the onset of sexual activity because that is the ideal time before exposure to HPV happens. So between the ages of 9 to 26, any time before the onset of sexual activity, it is advisable to get the vaccine done. That apart, uh, we also do provide vaccination to women at any opportunity that we do get up to the age of 45. 
So in our setup, since we see women uh, normally during the antenatal period and you know we deliver them, so we do offer the vaccine once they are delivered in the postpartum period. Uh, the other time periods where a lady can get vaccinated are up to the age of 45. Okay ma'am. So to conclude, what is your take home message? Uh, cervical cancer is preventable, so get vaccinated, get screened, forget cervical cancer and cervical disease. Thank you. So, please keep all these points in mind. Schedule an appointment with your nearest gynecologist and please get your dose of HPV vaccine. Thank you.